Hey soldiers, remember you were told the 80,000 new IRS employees were not going to be used to target the middle class. They were exclusively going to audit the rich, okay, where they're going to go after them. You didn't have a thing to worry about. Well, uh, you should have known then, we told you then, that that was a lot of bunk, and it turns out, once again, we were exactly right, because the IRS is hinting now that, hey, uh, people making less than $400,000 are probably going to see more audits, and I'm going to tell you why that is, and I'm also going to tell you how that you how you can insulate yourself legally from future taxation. Why is that important? Why is Tyrone always talking about future taxation? Because taxes are going to be higher in the future. We're fighting two wars, okay? Uh, we got a lot of new Americans coming in. We just, you know, got the printing presses going at full tilt right now. America has racked up almost $2 trillion worth of debt in five months. In five months. $2 trillion in debt. We are headed toward $34 trillion in debt like a bullet, okay? And we're going to get to 35 even sooner than we got to. It's going to take less time to get to 35 than it took to get to 34, okay? So, who are they coming after for all of the largesse, all right? You, me, the taxpayer. So, right now, taxes are at somewhat of a historic low, to be quite honest with you. The income tax... Uh, kicked in in 1913, and for most of that time, the top rate's been over 70%. Well, ever since 2017 and the Trump tax cuts, uh, that top rate has been uh, less than half of that, okay? So we're in an unusual period, again, historically, uh, of low, relatively low taxation. So I want to pay my taxes now. And you got to pay your taxes. If anybody says to you, ah, Tyrone, you don't need to pay taxes. Here's what you do. What you do is you run in the opposite direction. Don't walk, run. Because you do have to pay tax. You got to pay all kinds of taxes. Gas tax. In Maryland, we have the alcohol tax. Uh, you got to pay state income tax. You got to pay property tax. Once we had a rain tax, rain drops. Here in Maryland, we had a rain tax. Yes. All kinds of taxes, but we're talking about the income tax because the income tax hits you hard, all right? 25% of your income somewhere in that neighborhood, poof, gone to Uncle Sam. But you know what? We got to pay them. So let's think about whether or not it would be advantageous for us to pay taxes now and then allow money to grow tax-free and give us an opportunity to access it access it tax-free later on down the road, okay, when everybody else is suffering from high taxation. IRS Commissioner Danny Werfel, he faced a grilling by lawmakers on Capitol Hill this week where he hinted that there is a chance that the agency will, contrary to its repeated pledges, increase tax audits of Americans earning under $400,000. Let me assure you, that is exactly what will happen. Why? Because that's where the money is. It does not behoove the IRS to go after Warren Buffett because Warren Buffett, Elon Musk, uh, Jeff Bezos, they have literal armies of CPAs and tax attorneys. And they fight the IRS I think Warren Buffett is still involved in a battle with the IRS. It's been going on for years now, okay? But he can afford it. And there are only a handful of people that can do that. The, the mega rich, the same people that the politicians are always talking about. Oh, we're going to hit them with the taxes. No, you're not. Because you're never going to get it from them. They're going to fight you, all right? And look, you might say, well, the government has an endless amount of resources. Yeah, they do. But if you are, you know running a multi-billion dollar company, or in the case of Apple, a trillion dollar company, then, hey, all of these lawyers and CPAs that are working on, you know, quashing these audits, hey, that's a tax deductible expense. So while I'm fighting the IRS, I will turn right around 
and use the compensation that I'm paying to the people that are fighting on my behalf. I will use that compensation to get a tax deduction. Okay, so on and on we go. Now you and me, we do not have armies of these types of resources. That is why the IRS says they look like a tempting target. The IRS pictured them as the cheetah on the Serengeti plane, okay? And Warren Buffett, Elon Musk, Apple, you know, they are a herd of rhinoceroses, or I think the plural is rhinoceri. Yeah, that looks like it might be tough, okay? But, oh, look, looky there over there. There's a little gazelle. Looks like maybe, maybe a year old. Hmm, we're the gazelle, okay? The cheetah, the IRS, it's easier. Come after us. We're not going to put up much of a fight. Not going to be difficult. The rest of the gazelle are going to run away. They're not going to, you know, try to help us out, <laughs> okay? So... This is why you have to position yourself to legally figure out when you want to pay your taxes and you got to figure out what's more advantageous to you. Having tax-free money available later, I think that's, you know, where I want to be because, again, the tax uh, is going to be, be higher because we're racking up so much debt as a nation, okay? So I want to exempt myself somewhat in the future from taxation. I want to go ahead and pay the tax now. So that's why uh, that's you know why I think that way. The question of whether the IRS will use some of the 80 billion or so funding boosts to increase tax enforcement of people making less than four hundred thousand dollars has been a contentious issue. IRS and Treasury Department officials have pledged, not to increase audit rates for this group of Americans, while Republicans and others have argued that this pledge is either false or wishful thinking. Of course it is, um, for the reasons I explain. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen, one of the most uh, in or uh, uncredit uh, worthy in terms of her honesty, people in America, Janet Yellen has directed the IRS not to raise audit rates above historical levels for this group of taxpayers, while Mr. Werfel has repeatedly made the same pledge. But here's the deal. First of all, Janet Yellen, she lied to us about inflation for the better part of a year. She knew damn well we were going to have runaway inflation. And she kept saying, oh, no, we can print up as much money as we want. Doesn't matter. Trillions of dollars can hit the street. We're not going to see inflation. She kept saying that. This woman's supposed to be a former uh, economics professor, and now she's the treasury of the secretary telling that lie. Okay. Second of all, the IRS, they're dealing with a term to identify high income earners. The term is high income, but that term is, is very subjective. Okay. So for example, High income could mean anything above the median income of Americans. The median income of Americans is around $32,000. So we could say, look, high income is 50 grand. You're, not, you're a high income earner. So you get hit under this rubric of uh, those who we're going to take a look at, right, to, uh, to audit. So what do you need to do to prevent an audit? Well, you need to have professional tax representation. And look, um, if you are someone who is like lower income, you want to take a look at, you know, one of the, and this is not an endorsement. I don't deal with these people, but I know they're out there. Jackson Hewitt, H&R Block, there are many others, right? Uh, who know how to interpret these uh, W-2 um, tax returns and make sure you are good to go. All right. Now, ultimately, your tax return is your responsibility, but the tax code is so damn voluminous, okay, and complex. I am not fool enough to think that I can get through that with TurboTax and sleep well at night knowing that my chances of audit are eliminated. Because again, I'm not an expert at taxation. 
So there is a chance that I might misinterpret something or miss something. I'm not taking that chance with the IRS. And I encourage you to look at professional representation at whatever your socioeconomic level is and can afford and go that route to deal with the IRS. Listen, if you and I were on a jet liner, jumbo jet 747, traveling somewhere, and the pilot just got a case of sleep apnea and went to sleep. Look, I don't know how to fly a plane, okay? I, you know, it, it's just not going to work. I look at the IRS as the same way. So, guys, get professional representation. Try to ward off these audits. Also, make sure you think about the Roth IRA, permanent life insurance policies. Research it. If you need help doing that, mcenow.com. Come check us out. We can answer questions for you uh, in that regard. Guys, I'll talk to you soon.